going to have those Chris McQuanzica tickets for you about a half an hour. If you want to join Bill and Mary Santora and Cody Cooper and Wanda Mayfield, and oh my goodness. Bro, who's who? You know? A real mm-hmm. murderer's row. A who's who at the Agora on the 29th of this month. Uh, you can uh, go to, where would they go to buy them, Bill? Uh, AgoraCleveland.com? Cleveland. Com, yes. Yeah. So about a half an hour, I'll have uh, a pair for you. Cavaliers lose uh, to the Rockets last night by six points. But it was an exciting game. Oh, you were there? Time. Yeah, I was yeah. there, yeah. He missed Naughty by saying, Nature, yeah. but he got... Uh, yeah. But I was there for the game. I was there watching and enjoying. Grandma had a great time. Did you eat a hot dog? No. <gasps> Do you and Grandma only see each other now at Cavaliers games? No. Oh, okay. She yeah. still does his laundry. Yeah. She's not doing his laundry. Yes, she is. <laughs> she is. Why is she doing your laundry? Because she likes doing At laundry. her insistence? Yeah. And you don't uh, fight her? But does she, she come down does. to get her, or do you go up and I, drop I, it off? I go up and drop it off, and I pick it up. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> a creep like that. Oh, wow. So you... But so then still do my laundry. I'm not going to stop her. Uh, she does is, a great job. Is there a standard amount of time uh, that you know of that it takes her to launder your clothes? I mean, she's or pretty, does she hit you up and say, hey, it's done? She's pretty quick come about on it. Up. So usually I'll drop it off in the morning and pick it up in the evening or the next day. Like a typical laundromat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. But she has to go, to, I assume, the ground floor. There's the, laun- the, the laundries at the ground floor of the building, yes? Sure. There isn't one on each floor. Right, right. So she goes down probably sub-level, mm-hmm. probably not ground floor. She's living yeah, Santora style. Where we go, yeah. She's laundering. I, I laundering. Most people I do don't live in the though. laundry right, room right, like you do. First of all, relax. I did my sheets myself. She just does the, the clothes. Yeah, you don't want to give her those. No. Oh, God. And Take she, them off the bed. They're standing straight up. <laughs> Hey, I got all the hey, spots hey, out. Hey, hey, anyway, <laughs> yeah, right? I'll give you that. <laughs> I got a tight pen near the bed. Ugh. Oh, no. Uh, should have this at the ready, really, mm-hmm. from here on The old out. lady masturbating? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Now she's done. Um, yeah, so uh, Rockets over the Cavs last night. Um, tonight they are in San Antonio to play David Robinson and the Spurs. That is an 8.30 game here on MMS. Live from the... Uh, Eagle. F- where do they play? <laughs> I don't know where they AT&T play. AT&T Center, uh-huh. probably. I think that's where the Spurs play. There's a bunch of bats. I know that. I always end up having bats at this, uh, their arena. Oh, yeah, bats really? all over Texas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when we go to Austin, there's never been to Texas. bridges go to that Texas. you can stand on, and when the sun goes down, millions of bats come out, and, you know, it's like a tourist attraction. Mm-hmm. But they're all over, yeah. But they, like, they're known for having bats in the arena so often that they have a net, and then the mascot, the coyote, has a Batman costume that it wears. Oh, I've seen this. While catching the bat. Yeah, they turn it yeah. into something. Yeah, you might as well. Bit. Yeah. It's fun. It's funny. So Cavaliers Spurs tonight uh, with uh, 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 Tristan Thompson, Kevin Love. Those guys are still on the cast. Yeah, they're yet. still on the cast for the uh, time being. Channing Fry. Nope. Channing Tatum. No, nope. definitely not him. I'd go to more games. Uh, who, uh, they've got... Um, uh, the Jedi. Colin Sexton. Haley Osment go. Jr. Colin Sexton, yes. Colin Sexton. Haley Osment. J. Chetty Osment. Mm. Donny no. Osment. No. And the Cavaliers. Marie Osment. Jetty. And Jetty the Spurs Osmond. have uh, Tim Duncan. Nope. Uh, Listen. Manu Ginobili, who do they have on the no, Spurs? He's retired. Lonnie Walker? Mm. Who do they got on the Spurs? They DeMar got... DeRozan? DeMar DeRozan, yeah, that's one. All right, well, uh, there you go. I got Marcus one guy. Aldridge. Who? Yeah. Hey, you see Vince Carter is Vince Carter is the oldest guy in the NBA. Plays for the Atlanta Hawks. He has been a pro ball player for 22 years and he has hit his 1500th career game the other night. That's a lot. That's Incredible. a lot of games, boy. That's so many. Vince so Carter. Many. I love him. God bless this guy. He's my favorite player right, right? now. He's like How many no do drama. Have a year? 80? 82. Yeah. And then if you go to the playoffs, which a lot of seasons he did go to the playoffs. So he's played a lot of basketball games. Good for him. But to stay healthy and to yeah. still be doing, There's you know. Lots of players that weren't born when he started in the league. Right. Like, they're in the league now. Like, we have a few players that are 19, 18, 22, like, 21 years old. And they have never lived in a world where Vince Carter wasn't in the wasn't NBA. Wasn't playing ba- right. basketball. That's insane. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. He played for the Raptors when they were a new team. Yeah. 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 
He's lived in a lot of cities, played for a lot of teams. Anyway, I don't know who the oldest guy in uh, football. I got the, uh, the, the Tom go Brady. picks. I th- it's not Adam Vinatieri? Oh, it might be Vinatieri. Yeah, he's a little like bit him. older, I think. Yeah. Um, or what's his but name? I think he's Phil out Dawson. for the rest of the season. No, Phil Dawson retired. Oh, he did? Yeah. From the 49ers? Mm-hmm. Well, um, he was like, he bounced around for a little bit. Ah. Uh-huh. Um, but he's done. Oh, I'm going to give you these goat picks here in a minute. We're going to miss the last few weeks of uh, Terry the Goat. Aww. So, um, Al out in Carlton, PA, said that he will put her picks on YouTube. Ooh. Uh, so that people can well, follow be sure along. sure to share them. Right. In case, you know, mm-hmm. so you'll know where Odell Beckham Jr. ends up. All right. <laughs> Next. Oh, is she going to predict that? I don't know. I just like that this guy, <laughs> I like that this guy now is just telling anyone who will listen that he wants to come to their team. He just goes and shakes hands with the opposing team and goes, bro, pick me up. Come at me. They're like, yeah, yeah. He was hanging out with Janine Garofalo. And he's like, oh. They make a good couple. I, I mean, mean, I don't think, I think it's professional. You think? But yeah, he was, he tells Janine Garofalo, who's a quarterback for the 49ers. Unbelievably, it's I want to come play for San Francisco. He's telling no. everyone, "I want to come play for you." Doesn't matter who they are, as long as it's not Cleveland. This guy, this guy, get him out of here. Oh, BJ, indeed. That's Janine Garofalo. Mm. Hey, um, hey, boy, Killjoy. Mega dildos. Mr. Mega Bob. dildos, boy, Killjoy. Long time no here. This guy was an early. Blacklist member. He's number twenty nine on the blacklist. Ooh. Day one listener, bro. Day one. Day one. Killjoy. Where you been? I remember when people were hating on you because Maxwell was out here, man. That was just last week. <laughs> <laughs> Where you been, Killjoy? Man, I'm all over the place, man. I'm on the East Lake nowadays. Remember? Man, I was on the field, you're like right? Vince Carter. Yeah, I'm all over the place, man. All right. I just wanted to say congratulations on the 10 years, man. Good Thank job, you, sir. Man. Thank you. Good work. It's all due to you, Killjoy. <laughs> I'm going to be listening, bro. All right. Thank you, sir. Later. All right. Take care. There's oh, Killjoy. What a sweet thing. Just call in and say Lo- hi. Yeah. yeah. Long time yeah. listener. Yeah. Thank more like you. like more joy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Steve. Hey, guys. How are you? I'm good. I just want to say congrats. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. It's always a joy listening to you guys. <clears throat> but I was wondering if I could do some uh, Alan Cox show breaking news. Oh, Alan Cox, I love breaking news. Okay. Alan Cox show exclusive news update. All right. Okay. The uh, Cleveland scene is reporting that on December 30th at the Connor Palace, Mr. Dave Chappelle will be coming to Cleveland. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh. I, uh, oh. <laughs> I tried to tell him. I'm like, come on, man. Gotta, you think uh, you're the first one that know, to know that? Well, you don't got to kick him in the balls, pound cake. Let me do that. I, well, I didn't. I, I just thinking, said, okay. Yeah. I was thinking maybe if you interview him, you could call him Dave Attell. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every time. Uh, I've <laughs> said, I'm bummed because we're going to be on vacation when Attell is back in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. So um, I'll be there with him. Yeah. yeah, Bill's doing that weekend this year. Is he? I've done the last two. Uh, but yeah, um, from your mouth to someone else's ears, Steve. Okay. Okay. The, okay. Thank you. There's uh, Steve out there in uh, Cleveland Heights. He's checking in now that the phones work. Fantastic. Boy, thank God the phones work on the day that Killjoy calls. Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard from that guy in a long, long time. That's are you awesome. Gonna, are you going to reschedule your interview? With Rob Halford? Oh, I think that ship is sailing. <laughs> okay, we only got two days. No, I think they were, I think they were being nice when yeah. they said, "Oh yeah, we'll run it up the flagpole." No, I, mean, I, I, just like, oh, I, I missed off, that one. Yeah. I've talked to him a lot over the years. It's just that I like having him on, and he's uh, you know he's he's a good get. Yeah, they couldn't have been nicer though. I well, that's yeah, because they had probably you know they're going on to another station somewhere else. But um, I would like to just do a quick little plug for Chris McQuanzica. Yeah, uh, Dave Chappelle. He has his show. December 30th, one day after mine. And, you know, I'm a nice lead in for him. But at his show, you have to put your phone away. At my show, if it sells out, you can leave your phone on as loud as you want. Huh. <laughs> as loud. Yeah. If it sells That's out. It but we're not going to yeah. take it away from you. Oh, That's I see. The point. If All it right. sells out, tweet away. We don't yeah. care. Mm-hmm. We don't care what you're doing yeah. as long as you're there. Take a phone call. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, I'm at the Bill Squire show. Christmas Kawanzaka. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, Mary looks hot in that jacket. You know, a lot of people have been texting me saying that perhaps this uh, attitude that you've derived from your leather jacket is perversely 
contributing to your bad mood today. No. Maybe it's an attitude no. overload. No. You think, don't decide what the jacket gives you. The jacket giveth and the jacket <laughs> taketh away. I put it on and I just become this I, no. I even tweeted it. I'm being a real bitch today. <laughs> like, mm. I, no, I'm uh, hormonally all messed up. And I know that, that this isn't, we have a 90% male audience and they don't care. But like, if you really want to get into it, the reason why I'm in such a bad mood is that I skipped my period last month and I got it like two days ago. So I'm, and I'm supposed to get it next week. So my body is all messed up. I'm either three weeks late or one week early or whatever it is, and I can't keep my emotions in check. And I hate, hate, hate saying that to a room full of men and mostly male listeners because, like, she's on a period, she's being irrational, she's being a bitch because she's bleeding. Is that why you were mean to me yesterday? I'm mean to you because I don't like you. That's my point exactly. <laughs> when I can just you know, be like, I'm just our, not in a good mood. Our audience is about 60 40. That'll make you feel better. Is it? Yeah, it is. Well, then women will get it because I hate when. It's just so annoying when men are like, you can get your periods at white beans. Who gives a crap? <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to take off. Now, in <laughs> mi- on this show, it's 99 1. Yes. So, yeah, mm-hmm. right. So it is. Well, it's 25%. All my emotions are out of whack. I don't know if you know how that There's works 90, out. There's 100 people on this uh, show. Bill, 99% of us in yeah. here are men, all right? <laughs> so I'm yeah. just I'm all out of whack, and I had a, I woke up late. I couldn't get my makeup to do what I wanted it to do, and then I was late to an interview. And what then did you want it to do? I just wanted the wings of my eyeliner to be even, and they still aren't. And hmm. so I had to, it's on my Instagram story. I had to like keep taking my makeup off You know that's and something that would be it. imperceptible to anyone other than you. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because Clearly it not. Is, That's well, what we're no, because to tell people you. do. You can tell when you look at someone, their face is not. Half of my face looks like I had a stroke. Like it's annoying. A stroke. It's this droopy. is what I mean. It's not nearly, <laughs> it's not nearly as noticeable, as, as, you noticeable yeah. as you think. So, yeah. I know you gals all think you're rocking dramatic eyeliner or whatever. We don't notice. I know. And, and that's what's even more frustrating is that that's what made me late to my... I was already woke up late and then nothing was going like I needed it to. And then I was late to this meeting, this interview that I had. And then I have a toothache, so I wanted to eat lunch. And then I was annoyed while I was eating lunch because my tooth hurt. And then I went to go... All I wanted to do was trim my cuticles and I cut my finger and it bled for an hour. Mm. Give me one thing that has gone well for you today. <sighs> I talked to Josh Schneed. I was then very happy to see Then focus on that. Him. Okay. Focus on that. Yes. Right? And then I, Idiot. Wait, talk about Alan you know. and I didn't cheer you up? He said oh, name please. one thing, and no, Josh no. was Josh the one takes thing. precedence today <laughs> over that. I, that's okay. I get it. So. No, the, the show always does. It does always make me feel better. It takes my mind off things. and Especially yesterday. Boy, I bet you yeah. felt great. What yeah. was the interview for? <laughs> uh, for the Berea High School Alumni Association uh, <laughs> biannual newsletter. <laughs> that's what you were mad about you were being late for? To that. Yes, you Linda is such pick. a nice lady. She's like, I left, I left all my notes on the table at I home. Thought, I was so unprepared. I thought you were doing some like press or something. No, like no, that. no. Well, and they only, biannual means what? twice a year, right? Or every yes. other year. Yeah, yeah twice okay. a year. It sleeps with other newsletters. Got it. Male and female. <laughs> <laughs> it's newsletter no, neutral. A, we've had to reschedule this meeting a couple times, mm-hmm. and then finally we landed she on it in today. person. Yeah, she took notes with her hand too. She like wrote out notes. She's a very very sweet lady. That right. could have been done over the phone. Yeah. Let well, me tell she you wanted to meet in person, call. and mm-hmm. I'm whatever. Mm-hmm. Is this a local gal done good story? I think so. Yes. Yeah. yeah. A teacher of mine who's been to a couple shows recommended me. He's part of the alumni association, and so they want to do a little wait write till, up. Wait till she puts an editor's note on the end of this thing about what a mess you are. My eyeliner not oh being my even. God. This lady. Yeah, yeah no, she was very mm-hmm. sweet. But I was late and I was fr- mm-hmm. flustered and I had to get gas. It was one of those two where you're like, you ever do that? I do this all the time where I mean to get gas like the night before and I'm like, oh, I'll just get it in the morning. And then nothing went right this morning and I was already late. And then I get into my car and my gas light's on. I'm like, Duh! it's just one thing after another. No, it's, I don't think that's I'm paranoid. <laughs> Every time my car gets like Yeah, quarter tank, I get gas. Yeah. But like this morning, I was one of those days I woke up late and I'm like, nah, I know my car. I can ride it out till I get to work. Yeah. Like, I know how my exact mileage. Because it came on, and I was like, it came on, like, on my way to work yesterday. I'm like, oh, I'll get it tomorrow. I'll get it after work. I'm going, I'm driving anyway, and then I didn't you get it. You drove to Elyria yesterday. I drove yesterday. to Elyria, and then I, could, you could imagine my frustration when I woke up, and I was like, Ugh, you I was supposed last night? to. Exactly. Because yeah. I was like, I'll get it in the morning. I just mm-hmm. want to go home. What was in Elyria? Uh, we went to dinner for my mom's birthday. In Elyria? My sister lives in Fremont, so we're trying to get a little bit closer uh, to where she is. Oh, she explained all this Wolfies. on the show, Pound yes, Cake, we yesterday. We went to Wolfie's, yes. I'm sorry, I don't remember it's yesterday's okay. show. It's okay. It was good. The food was good. Yes, I know. Yeah. My friend's how, on the, how was the birthday? 
It was good. Yeah. It was really good. It was she nice was to excited. be. excited? Yeah, it was nice to be with everybody. I mean, the four of us, it was just my sisters, myself, and my mom. And the four of us don't get to hang out, just the four of us, because everyone's got kids, and I'm on the road, and whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. So You don't have kids. I'm on the road, and uh, <laughs> so it was nice to just spend a couple hours just hanging out and yeah. chit-chatting. Road and the rag. Yeah, mm-hmm. road and the rag. Um, hey, J.D., Holy PMS, Batman. Oh, See, this I'll is what I'm what, talking see? about. This is why when I'm just like, I'm just attributing it to being in a bad mood. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, I just want to Today's not the day you want to poke the bear, JD, apparently. <laughs> I just the want box. to congratulate you guys and congratulate Alan for his 10 years. A real early listener. And um, I wanted to tell you, Alan, about that wheels thing. That show that was on before you was so bad that he would use those sound effects and it'd be like three wheels off, and that literally is how bad the show was. So I'm glad you saved it. Yeah, but if he was playing those for his own show, then he was kind of, it was a wink, right? Yeah, it was in on the joke? No, no, yeah. no, no, it really wasn't. It was really that bad. <laughs> hmm. He probably thought it was a wink. He was ripping on his own <laughs> show. <laughs> it was both eyes closed and three wheels off most of the time. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, uh... it does go to three. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you, J.D., all right, buddy. All right, thanks, pal. There's JD out in Akron. I actually did have a very strange situation happen at dinner last night, oh, and I only have tell. a couple minutes. But so this is what happens, right? Walk into the restaurant, and my sister like she makes eye contact with this dude, and then turns to me with like a face like I gotta talk to you face, and I like looked at her. I was like, what's going on? And she was like, that guy knows dad. And I was like, who is it? And I like looked, and I didn't recognize him. She's like, that's not his wife. And like this dude, I did a sneaky like like selfie of me and my sister, but that guy was actually in the background. I sent it to my dad. I was like, "Hey, is this you so-and-so. blew up the dude's spot?" I asked. I said, "Hey, is this so and so?" And he was like, "Yeah, like where are you guys?" And I told him what was going on. And uh, would now here was my question. You're it was a like. Snitch. I didn't snitch. I didn't say anything. Takes one and no one. Well, I said it to my dad. I was like, well, here's something that's interesting going on. He's like, maybe it's his sister. Maybe they're out. And I was like, she fed him. I was like, and she took food and put it into his mouth. I was like, my brother's never fed me ever. His dietician. Yeah. Yeah, but my my wife or a girlfriend has never fed me. Well, it was very much so that vibe. And so it was those two and another couple. It was a sexy feeding? It was a sexy feeding. But it was like mozzarella sticks. It was. (laughs) (laughs) So not sexy at all. That's a sexy app. Yeah. Well, as far as apps go, oh, that's one of the sexiest apps there is. Very uh, mm-hmm. Alleria sexy. Um, mm-hmm. It's phallic. It's hot. Yeah. But we couldn't drip. figure out. Drip. We yeah. couldn't figure out what was going on because it. it was like this couple, <laughs> and then the guy that knew my dad, and a girl, a lady that was not his wife, and then like more people started showing up throughout the night. But they were like hugging both of them. We're like, man, if all if this whole group of people know them as a couple, how long the guy wasn't wearing his wedding ring? And You're it such was a like, nosy Nelly. You mm-hmm. wouldn't. But you would not pay attention to that if situation. If I came out of the I bathroom, recognize him. I, I came, didn't recognize him. My little if sister. If I came did. out of the bathroom and my mm-hmm. brother goes, "Hey, that guy is with somebody who's not his wife," I go, "Oh." You wouldn't yeah. like be Why? interested yeah, in that because I don't know the guy. I don't know the girl. Once when she pointed out who it was, I'm trying to be very as vague as I can. When she pointed out who it was, I was like, oh, okay, I do know that guy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, whatever, but uh, but you was, hadn't thought about him in 20 years, so why do you care? No, it's a recent thing than that. <laughs> I mean, it's much don't get me wrong. Under the initial like uh, salaciousness of it, I guess. Yeah. But now you're like she fat him and there's she a did. ring. Because I was like, well, is you're it his wife? You took is mental it? note of a lot of details. Yeah. You guys wouldn't? No, No. because I've seen this happen before where I'll see someone out and I'll go, oh, I didn't know they broke up. Eh, Interesting. Okay. My mom wanted to go say something. My mom was like, we should go ask him how his wife is. Oh, no. (laughs) No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's none of my business. So if you saw somebody out... And this is, I would say, not even really an acquaintance. He probably, I don't think that he recognized me or my sister. I don't think he recognized who we were. But he's your dad's friend. But yeah, he's a friend of my if dad's. If he recognized, you would have been like, check, please. Yeah, I know, right? You take quick pictures and then you use it for blackmail. I did, I took a And then you walk away, you have it for blackmail. But what? you don't say anything. Black it's not about blackmail or anything about? like that. But I, I, I was like so wrapped up in the story. I was like trying to figure it out. And I was like, he doesn't have his ring on. Oh my God, their tongues just touched in that picture that they took together. And like, they were like, eh, like sticking their like, eh. Gross. Like stick their tongue out and their so, tongues touched him. So he's probably wow. recently divorced and or like going through a divorce. That was my, what I yeah. assumed. I was like, yes. they probably have been having problems for a minute. And but but he had to have been with her for a while. If like they're all or maybe they just run in the same <laughs> friends no, group. No, I mean, he probably, does he live over by your your way? Because no. if he lives in Illyria, he yes. Oh, that's 
hometown? Yes. Yes. Dude. yes. So yeah. then he, he probably knows how there. to take a picture where it's not from the like low angle and made a good d- dating profile. App he might and, have. Maybe and, he's and he finally get lost a lot. Maybe he's finally happy with someone. It might be. I just thought that was you a are salacious kind of. Putting your nose of, into the whole you thing. You guys would literally see someone you knew on a date or I out, have. and you and you just let it go. Yeah, no, because I, I don't get. It's here. not my business. I get. I didn't tell on him. I didn't tattle. I would, but, but I, it's not even like you're telling this like it's this amazing, interesting it was. thing. But to you me, you guys don't care at all. I don't care at all. The only thing I care about if my friend is like in a relationship, if I can remember that person's name and it's the right girl, not the one from last time. Jeez. Like that's all I'm trying to do. If I, um, you're still with Gwen, right? If I, huh? You're still with Gwen, right? Yeah, she <laughs> okay. loves. She yeah. loves to tell the story of when we first started dating, and I took her to this restaurant that I had taken a friend to the week before because I loved this restaurant. Mm-hmm. Right? I didn't go there all the time. It just so happened that I had gone there twice in two weeks. The weekend before with a friend of mine, a female friend who was in town. It wasn't someone I was dating. Mm-hmm. And so I take Gwen, and it was like, I think it was our first date, the t- time mm-hmm. we had, first time we had dinner. So we're both having a couple of drinks to take the edge off or whatever. And the waiter, big restaurant in Chicago, waiter comes over, he goes, hey, welcome back. I remember you last week. And I go, I'm looking at him like, bro. Why would you even, And yeah. she looks at me like, really? Yeah. And I go, I swear to God. And then I'm thinking, what waiter remembers a guy who was there the week before? Because you were there with it. No, I mean, waiters and, and bartenders do, we do a pretty good job with faces. This Might is, not remember This was a name. huge restaurant. Mm-hmm. I had never been there before the weekend prior. and Or not for a long time. It had changed mm-hmm. hands, names, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was kind of coming back to it. And... Took Gwen there because I'm like I know the lay of the land, you know whatever. This guy to this day should be like, yeah, remember when you took me there the week after some other chick? Mm -hmm. I'm like, it was a friend. (laughs) Come on. And what are the odds that the waiter is gonna remember? Because I wasn't Alan Cox. Yeah. I mean, I was I was having dinner with a friend. Yeah. He goes, hey, welcome back. Same thing. Or he said something Mm -hmm. that made it very clear that he remembered me. Yeah. And it just didn't look good. So if I if I saw your situation, I might go back to the table. I didn't say anything. If Gwen and I were there, Mm -hmm. I'd be like, that guy over there is. But yeah. I wouldn't be taking fake selfies to see if they're touching tongues. Because I wanted to see tongues. if it was him. I wanted you're to send it to my dad. Like, you're this mental. The guy? Yeah, is this the guy? <laughs> you're mental. <laughs> so what? Then you. So then, if your dad looks at the picture, and goes, "Yeah, that's the guy." Uh huh. Then what? Nothing. Yeah, exactly. There's that's no a lot of work for a little payoff. <laughs> I know. It's just one of those. Is this a guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a guy. Uh, okay. Yeah, their tongues touched. Mm-hmm. Your dad's like, yeah, okay. Right. Bunch of tongue know. emojis. Know. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, so what, mystery yeah. solved? Mystery solved. You still know no more than I you don't. did last night. I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea what the relationship is. But mom's is birthday was good. But mom's, but we, so we were like kind of wrapped up in that drama and creating our own little scene at our I table. See. It gave you what something to talk about. Again? I'm not saying it. Uh, <laughs> you almost slipped. got her. Yeah. It gave you something to talk about, though, at the table. Yeah, but yeah. It, and it was fun. It was like the four of us like kind of like riffing on each other. And, like, I can, by the way, I, uh, I got to go to break here, but I cannot believe, I will not believe that your foxy sister took any part in this nonsense. <laughs> I told her that. She's said, above all that. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I'll let you that's believe what, what you want uh, to believe. I, yeah. That's what I believe. <laughs> all right, I'm going to have those Chris McQuanzica tickets for you after the break. Um, and if you want to send a text, 35192, allencockshow.com for everything else. It's the Allen. Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS and everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app.